stand it up. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Officer Extra. This is the last episode of Officer Extra, and I am so excited I have been admitted to the Extra Wicked Smart program here on campus. That means I get to live on campus, you know, live the bull's life and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and meet my roommate and get ready to, uh, you know, see how it all works out. Hey, knock, knock, I'm home, everybody. Hello, 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 how's it going? My name is Officer Extra, what's your name? My name is Max. So, are uh, you gonna be my roommate over here? Unfortunately, That's I, was, not how it I works. was enjoying my time alone here, and then you just you just interrupted everything. You like being alone? Yeah. But with that attitude, you're gonna have a life of that. So Max, I got my uh, I got my bag here. I gotta move into my room. Very Are you gonna help? What's that? It's very fashionable. Does that keep you joy? It matches your age. It matches my age. How yeah. old do you think I am? You know, do you have any linens for me, Max? I want to go ahead and set this up. I don't know if I brought any linens for everything. Um, I got my linens. You're supposed to bring your own. Fetch some off of your bed, and I'll use those. You just want to take my room, and I'll be, I'll be in here. That's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll just take your room. So let's do a little safety inspection over here. Make sure you're good. Okay, what about the chair here? So this could be bad, Max. Look, what if you sit down in the chair, and then that could be bad. You know, that could be dangerous. Guess what you got to be wearing is a hot hat. Okay, what grade did you get? It's not a grade scale, Max. Yeah, like you're, you're B, C, D. Yeah. I would give you uh, an F plus. Yeah, well, you know what we got in the refrigerator? We got absolutely nothing. We got cold air and a whole bunch of nothing. Point it's is, nice and clean though, there's no safety hazards. You have got to stop interrupting me. I'm trying to have an adult conversation with you and apparently you are not going to meet me halfway. Is our oven clean? Wow, the oven's clean probably because you never use it. That's probably that's, why that's, that's true. Yeah. Open up the suitcase, okay. see what's inside. All right, this used to be my mother's suitcase. Yeah? Yeah. She was abducted by aliens in 2007. You want to know what I brought? Never gonna happen. Okay. Never gonna happen, Sierra. It's my Get my suitcase, suitcase back, it's Sierra! Give it back! What? So, Max, where are you from? I'm from Broward County. Where is yeah. Broward County? It's like north of Miami. Okay, Max, everything is north of Miami. Okay, so, uh, Max, it's time to do the roommate agreement for me. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, my name is Officer Extra. You have a real name? That is a real name, Max. That's the name my mother gave me. We will clean daily, weekly, monthly, or as needed. You know, let me go ahead and amend this. I don't know why we're saying we. I think we really should be saying Max. We will say Max will clean. That's much better. Max will clean. Study atmosphere, the space will be silent. Low music, low TV volume, no distractions or anything goes. No distractions, only quiet. You want no distractions whatsoever. So you're gonna have to leave. Food or drink consumed that is not ours will be replaced within three days. Three days at the moment. You want to replace food within three days? I would like to replace you within two days. So let's go ahead, are you ready to sign? That, you're supposed to print on that side. All right, Max, well, I look forward to living with you this semester. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, it's time to watch the season finale of USF Housing Live! Gregory Bowers, Sierra Rose, Maxwell Morinelli, Elisa Goldberg, Nyreen Naomi, Courtney Cadogan, Geraldine Paredes, June Dickens, Jeremy Lamberti, Taylor Finke, Kayla Williams, Burley Gomez, Chris Herrera, Stephanie Jockman. Wednesday, August 8th, 2018. Coming to you from the beautiful University of South Florida campus in Tampa, it's USF Housing Live! Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is USF Housing Live. I'm your host, Gregory Bowers, with Housing and Residential Education at the beautiful University of South Florida in Tampa. Our motto, best place to live, best place to work, best place to learn. Tonight's episode is Live the Bull's Life. A reminder to everyone joining us live that we are here to answer your questions so you're ready to live the bull's life. If you have a question, no matter where or how you are watching, just type it in the comments and we will answer you in real time. Now, before we dive into everything, I just want to say thank you so much to Anna Hernandez, Assistant Vice President of Housing and Residential Education, and Dr. Andy Johnson for their support. Thank you to our amazing crew who give all of themselves to this effort to connect with you, our USF students and families. 
Speaking of family, I have to take a moment to say thanks to my dad, Ken Bowers, a retired high school teacher and police officer whose unwavering support and edgy sarcasm prepared me to do this job here. Today is actually his 72nd birthday, so happy birthday, Dad, wishing you many, many more. Now, joining us tonight from New Student Connections is a student who is studying cell and molecular biology, a member of the Pre-Dental Society, previously a member of the Emerging Leaders Institute, is currently developing her own alternative spring break trip for next year, and is making her first appearance on the show tonight. Welcome, Serena Brown. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to have you here. We'll be speaking with Serena in just a moment. Our first guest tonight is one of our own Bull Hall coordinators, who's going to be leading hundreds of student volunteers who will help residents move in on grand opening day. And he's a member of our housing and residential education public relations team. Welcome to the front of the camera, Brilli Gomez. Thanks, Greg. Happy to be here. I'm happy to have you out here, Brilli. And so let's get right into it. Tell us, what is it you do here at USF? I'm a public relations assistant, and I'm also a Bull Hall coordinator. And so uh, what is Bull Hall? Bull Hall is a program where volunteers help students move in, and it's for the students to move in. And so there's like hundreds of volunteers out there. Yeah. Awesome. That's going to be everywhere on campus? Yes, all over. All right. And so that's really cool. And so that's happening, by the way. Grand opening, Thursday, August 16th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Remember, your day is going to begin at the Marshall Student Center. And so that's where you go for check-in. I also want to remind folks that if you're coming with family or friends, you have uh, one or two cars, doesn't matter. You don't want to try to go to your residence hall first. Make sure you start your day at the Marshall Student Center. If you go to an unloading zone before checking in, you won't be able to stop. So make sure you go to the Marshall Student Center and just visit usf.edu slash housing and click the link to go see all the fall arrival information. So, Burley, you're going to be running Bull Hall. Um, and so um, I want to know, um, did you start your time here at USF by living on campus. We were talking about this a little earlier. Yes, I was actually, on my first year, I lived in Beta. Yeah. So you lived in Beta. Yeah. And so was that your initial plan to start by living on campus? Um, in the back of my mind, I always knew I wanted to live in, on campus, but my parents weren't really like on board with it at first, but I was able to convince them to let me live the college experience. And <laughs> they wanted you, uh, what they want? They wanted you to stay off campus, stay at home? They wanted me to stay at home, uh, stay close to home. They felt like I would focus more on school at home, but it was quite the opposite. I felt like I focused a lot How more. How did you convince them? Um, took a lot of please, 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 but I was able to, it was mainly my dad. I had to nudge my dad in the right direction. You know. Just nag your parents as much it, as possible, yeah, and then exactly. they got you here on campus. Cool. Um, and so when we talk about moving in, um, I imagine that you probably brought a few things to campus. I'm curious, um, uh, what was that like for you, moving in, and what'd you bring? Um, it was... I moved in in spring, so uh, I had my grandfather help me, but uh, we had a fridge, a microwave, a uh, mattress topper, tons of clothes, which I probably didn't even need because I only used like five of them. But um, the fridge and the microwave were the lifesavers because the food was honestly the most important part for me. But um, it was there's things that you figure out that you don't need once you're on campus, and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have brought that. But it's good to have it just in case. I like that you mentioned the mattress topper because um, the mattresses on campus will be on the firmer side, and the reason is if we had very soft mattresses, you can't firm those up. But if you have a, a firmer mattress, you can put a mattress topper on there. So did you have nice gentle egg crate or memory foam or something? Yes, yes, yes. It was like three inches, and it was perfect. It was luxury. Only the finest for Mama Gomez's baby boy, okay? Uh, and so, uh, Brilli, um, tell us about the roommate experience when you moved in. So um, how was your roommate? I actually, I had a ghost roommate, so he you had was... had a ghost as a roommate? No, no, no. He was just never there. He was never there. Did you ever meet him? Never met him. I talked to him on Facebook a few times to get, like, prepared to meet him, and he was, like, on board with it, and then the day I moved in, he was just not there. That's, uh, that's interesting. And so, um, did you, like, tell other people in the hall about that? Yeah, I was like, is this guy ever going to come in? Like, does he actually <laughs> exist? And, like, I remember I had a teddy bear in my room, and we called him, I called him uh, his name. So I would say, he's here, and they're like, oh, he's actually here. I'm like, yeah, and then they would come, and they would see the teddy bear, and they're like, oh, that's not him. I, I feel like they'd be really concerned about you if yeah. they found you having the conversation <laughs> with the teddy bear as your roommate. So yeah. what did you do for human contact and interaction? Uh, I hung out in the pod a lot. I made lots of friends, and the pod was the best way, like the best gateway to make friends. So you told me that you were like best friends with the pod before the show. Yeah, yeah. The pod was my best friend for making best friends. Were you like the guy hanging out in the common area for everyone? Yeah, I was like, oh, there's that guy again. He's trying to... <laughs> you, were, you were that guy in the <laughs> common area? No, no. Um, and so, um, so I know that we have Week of Welcome coming up. Mm -hmm. 
And so that's a really, really um, a huge series of events. And we're going to get into that with Serena in a moment. Um, but was there anything that stood out to you for, for Week of Welcome that you attended? Um, yeah, it's crazy. The atmosphere is completely crazy. Um, the balloon drop is, she's going to talk about it more, but the balloon drop is probably the best experience. To exp like, as your first experience, it's the best. I knew it would be the balloon drop. I knew that was the thing. And yeah. so, um, so the first thing everyone should do at Week of Welcome wow. is then, also known as WOW, is the balloon drop. All right, and so, um, really, do you have any advice out there for our incoming bulls? They're, they're moving to campus next week. It's all happening. What do they need to know? Yep. I know you're probably going to be nervous, but um, just try not to be nervous and try to find something that you'll like on campus and you'll enjoy to make your college experience better and so that you ha like, have a better experience on campus. All right, and so what about family members? They're saying goodbye to their students. This is big for them, too. What's some advice you have for them? Um, let them have their experience, but also reach out to them. They might not reach out to you at first, but they'll get back to you eventually. It's good to have that support system. I'm glad you mentioned that. So we get those calls sometimes from a mom and dad or grandparents, family members, and they're saying, my student won't call me back. Why aren't they calling back, really? Because we're trying to make friends. We're trying to have fun, living the college life. So just let us do that. We're, busy. we're living the bull's life. We're busy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Living the bull's life. <laughs> really, thank you so much. Uh, folks, it is time for us to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. This video is about Keandre's first night on campus. You don't want to miss it. We'll be back with more USF Housing Live right after this. Hey Bulls, catch up on episodes you may have missed and see what's coming up by visiting usf.edu slash housing. Select About Us, then USF Housing Live. Choose an episode and get ready to live the Bulls life. I'd say my favorite USF memory was actually the first night I was here. And so that was June 24th, 2016. And so what happened was I was in such a new environment and I was around so many different people and I was just soaking it all in. And the reason why is because as soon as I got there, as soon as my parents left, I left all my stuff in my room and I went and met up with people that I met on the Facebook, you know, and then with people that had followed me on Instagram. And we all met up and they introduced me to their friends and whatnot. And then they were like, oh yeah, like they're showing me different things. They were in the SSS program, so they had been here a week before I was, and they were figuring things out as well. And they're like, oh yeah, you use your swipe and you get in at the gym and you can do all this other stuff. And I was a little reluctant. I was like, yo, I'm swiping in. Are they gonna make me pay? Like, you know, is this all going on my account? And they're like, no, you've already paid for it. It's covered in tuition. And so I was super happy. So I, I just go swiping everywhere. I'm like, yes, awesome. But that night, you know, we went to the rec center and we played racquetball. And then after that, on the way back, they were all going to hang out in someone's room, and I was so down for it. And then I passed someone in the lobby, and they were all carrying longboards, and they were like, uh, I stopped them. I was like, yo, are you going to skate? And they're like, yeah, we're going right now. I was like, do you mind if I come with you? You know, I'm trying to experience everything. And so I ran to my room, got my board, and then I ran with them, and we went up to the top of the parking garage, and we skated all the way down. And I still have videos, you know? And that was just an amazing experience, and I absolutely loved it. And so my first night was definitely the best. Um, right after that, I went back and hung out with the other people. We made this music group. Everybody's banging on the beds, you know, making beats, stomping their feet, clapping and everything. And it was just a really great time, you know. And so having that freedom, you know, to do whatever you want, to like just experience so many things in one day, you know, that was definitely the greatest entrance to college that I could ask for. Hey, welcome back. This is USF Housing Live. I'm Gregory Bowers. You are not. And it's time to chat with Serena Brown from New Student Connections. Serena, tell us, what is it you do here at USF? Well, I'm a third year student studying cell and molecular biology. Um, and I'm also part of the Bull Service Breaks, creating my own spring break trip for students. And I have the privilege of working in New Student Connections as a peer advisor leader. But most people call us pals for short. Awesome. And I want to get into New Student Connections and talk about PALS in just a moment. But we've got a bunch of questions and comments that came in. We're going to get into those okay. and we'll be right back on this. So, okay. We have got a little thumbs up from Cheryl. Thanks for watching, Cheryl. Hans, thank you for your thumbs up. Melissa said, I want to see Inside Horizon. Me too, Melissa. And so I want to let you know you can watch videos, you can check out renders. Just go to usf.edu slash housing and you'll see tons of information, tons of visual there. And of course, once you get here on campus, come visit, make friends, and go check out Horizon. There are different games inside each of the different village residence halls. It's really cool. I was just over in Pinnacle today. They have foosball. If you're in Horizon Hall, you have air hockey. That's going to be super popular. I'm from the north, so hockey is kind of everything up there. 
Uh, we got a question here uh, from YouTube. Is it possible to change a meal plan even after you completed the housing contract? Yes, you can still change a meal plan. Go to usf.edu slash dining, and you'll see information about contacting the meal plan office. And just go ahead and do that, and they'll assist you with changing your meal plan. You want to make sure you do that soon. Don't let that wait. Do it as early as you can. And so Jordan said, uh, yeah, Bull Hall, because Jordan is one of our Bull Hall captains. We have nine Bull Hall captains running all these different areas. We're going to be helping you move in 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Thursday, August 16th. And Aubrey asked, where can we park to move into Horizon Hall? That's a great question, Aubrey. And so for everyone watching that's going to be moving in on grand opening day, it's really simple. All you got to do is make your way to the Marshall Student Center. We sent out a mailer to everyone as a domestic student. We've also emailed you a couple times. Check your USF email. Read all the information on the page. You do not start at your residence hall. You go to the Marshall Student Center first. If you have multiple vehicles, everyone goes to the Marshall Student Center. You will be turned away at the unloading zone if you try to go there first. You have to check in to get your key and get everything that you need. We're going to give you a map that guides you to the exact unloading zone for your building. It's all going to work for you, but only if you start at the Marshall Student Center. So don't worry about anything other than getting to the MSC, the Marshall Student Center, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Thursday. August 16th. Uh, Talia says, Brilly is so cute. Uh, who's Talia, Brilly? It's my girlfriend. It's okay, my girlfriend. okay. Thank so you, we're not in an you. awkward situation here with the viewing audience. Okay. Uh, and so um, that's excellent. So uh, keep those questions coming. We'll be back to you in a moment. But we're talking with Serena Brown about New Student Connections. And so tell us, Serena, what does New Student Connections do? Well, New Student Connections is a great resource for students, and it does exactly what the name says. Um, we just like to help get students connected to the campus or to other students um, just to make sure that they feel like they're at home on campus. That's awesome. And you said um, we have peer advisor leaders or PALs in your office. And so what does the PAL do? Well, PALs will act as the resource or a coach for students. And they like to facilitate and do the different programs in our office just to make sure that students are actually making those connections on campus and also to other new students. Fantastic. That's great. So I know it's, it's a big transition, right? Right. Yes. And so I imagine it was like a shock for you coming to college being so different from high school? Oh, for sure. For sure. I definitely did have a little difficulty making new friends, but I did find my way eventually. Awesome. And so let's say a student out there, they're unsure of how to get involved. Uh, they're not sure how to make connections. How does a PAL help them with that? Well, we have two really great programs in our office that I would highly suggest to students to try and get into, um, also known as the network or PAL peer coaching. And so with the network, we have PALs leading 10 community groups that are based off of just common interests, themes, or passions that most students will have. And they have events going on through the fall with the network. And we'll invite students to come out to these different events just so that they can make connections to other students and also kind of feel like they're involved in a club or organization. And then with PAL peer coaching, they, students will get a chance to meet up with a PAL or an upperclassman. And they'll talk about just different goals that they have or achievements that they want to make on campus. And the PAL will help navigate them through that journey. All right, excellent. So I'm sure some folks are wondering, how do I get to new student connections? So how, how do they find you? Where are you? So we are located on the third floor of the Marshall Student Center, um, and we're open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 p.m. All right, excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so i got to ask you, how can a new student find out about Week of Welcome, wow. Wow. also known as WOW, and the first 50-day events? Where do they go to learn more? Yes, yeah, so students can actually attend the WOW kickoff, which is Thursday, August 16th. Um, at 6.30 in the Marshall Student Center, and there they will receive a Week of Welcome brochure. Wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> additionally, um, they can visit our website, which is www.usf.edu slash newstudent, and they can find the brochure there. Awesome. As we already heard Brilly earlier, you said that the balloon drop is your favorite thing, Brilly? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Did you walk home with a balloon from that event? I tried, but I get, like, I get hyped up and I start throwing them at people, so... I appreciate your honesty. Okay, so everyone steer clear of Brilly Gomez on, uh, on <laughs> at grand opening day and going into kickoff. Um, and so another question here for you, Serena. Um, what is your favorite USF tradition? We talk all the time about new traditions being created. Now we've been here a little while. Do you have a favorite? Yes. Well, actually, the WOW kickoff is my favorite tradition um, just because it's kind of like a reunion for my friends. We all go away for the summer, and then we come back and meet in the Marshall Student Center on that very first day. So definitely the WOW kickoff. Awesome, awesome. And so, well, I hope you get home with a balloon 
uh, after this event here. Maybe you can give it to Burley and tell him not to throw it at someone. I hope so. <laughs> going quite well. I hope so. <laughs> and so um, this, is, this is a common question, even though students may not want to ask because of the situation. What about those students out there? Uh, they don't have someone with them to attend an event. They want to go to an event. They just don't want to go alone. How can you help with that? Yes, this is very common, but in our office, we have a thing called meet and goes. And that's where pals will meet at a certain location that's close to the event. And we'll invite students to come out who don't have anyone to go with, or they can also bring friends as well. And we'll play games before the event goes on, and then we'll also just walk over together to that event. So. Awesome, that's excellent. So just third floor of the Marshall Center? Right, exactly. The third floor of the Marshall Student Center, or they can look in the brochure, and we'll also designate where to go. All right, that's excellent. I want to make sure I shameless plug everything about New Student Connections, and so um, that's a great service. That's a great opportunity for everyone that wants to get connected and get out there and not have to go alone to an event. You never have to go alone, Bulls. Um, so what's some advice you have for our newest students coming to campus? They're transitioning to the college experience. What do they need to know? Um, I would say to step out of your comfort zone and just try new things. Um, you never know what you can learn the next four years that you're here at USF. So I definitely say try new things and don't be afraid to do something new. All right. So you're saying get out of your comfort zone? Yes, get out of your comfort zone. That sounds scary, Serena. It is scary and it was something that I didn't do my first semester and I kind of did regret it. So I don't want anyone to do what I did. I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, what you just said kind of embodies something. I think we've all heard this quote is that when you talk to someone who's been there and done that and seen the world, they often say, they regret the things that they didn't do versus the things that they, they did. Right. And so you want to get out there and have those experiences. And I really love that you shared, get out of your comfort zone and try something new. That's really, really cool. Thank you. Now, there are family members and their baby bulls are leaving home. Right. And so what do you have to say to those family members? I'm kind of just like Brilli. Let the students have some space because they are in a new area and it is very difficult to try and find your way for the very first few weeks that you are here. But um, also trust that your student will be fine here on campus and they will reach out to you for sure. Or you can just always reach out to them as well. So what's the appropriate phone call frequency? Are we talking every 10 minutes the first week? No, I would kind of say... Okay, 12, 12 minutes every 12 minutes. Is that good? Maybe once a day. Okay. Decrease it down to once okay, a day. a little different. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so why? What, what about um, some parents, some family members who want to call every few minutes and check in? So why not? Well, your student is also trying to make new friends, and they're trying to find their way on campus. So calling every 12 minutes might kind of hinder them from that experience. So That's good advice. I like how Serena is pretty much counseling me at this point. Right. Like, Greg, back off. Give them some space, okay? Yeah. Um, and so was it like that for you? Did you have family want to reach out, but you kind of just were busy the first week? What was it like I for you? Did. I did. My mom, we were like best friends, so she would always call very often. But I think we kind of came to an agreement um, after like my second week here. We just said, you know, I'll call you wait for me to call, and then we kind of now just talk every day on a daily basis. All right, awesome. And so I've got a question here I want to address, but I have a question for both of you about adulting. So we'll be getting into that in just a moment. But uh, we have a question here from Flex who asks, uh, wondering why some uh, residents were moved from one floor to another in Summit. And so I can't comment on your specific scenario because I don't know. Uh, and federal law also prevents me from sharing that publicly, especially on Housing Live. But um, most likely, if you are a resident who had an assignment change, that's most often because um, LLC blocks of rooms sometimes get consolidated to ensure that everyone in a living learning community is living in the same block of rooms. And so that's most common. That's probably what happened if we're talking about Summit, where the Honors Living Learning Community is located. But I would just say, Flex, go ahead and send an email from your USF account, include your UID in the message, and send it to you, housing at usf.edu. Our team will look into that, and we'll get an answer to you normally within one business day. Um, and so I don't know how to answer this, but there was a little comment. There was a, how do I describe the emoji with the hearts in the eyes? Just emoji with hearts in the eyes from Brenz. Do you know a Brenz, anyone? No. Well, Brenz, thanks for watching. I'm so glad that you're here with us. And <laughs> want to remind everyone that the first 23 episodes are out there at usf.edu slash housing. Choose About Us and then USF Housing Live to see all the prior episodes. So uh, I have a, a last question for both of you, and that's about adulting. What was your first adulting moment once you were in college? Doesn't mean it has to be the first week, but did you ever have that thing happen where you were like, oh, it got real, I'm an adult now. What, what was that for you? Funny story. So on my way up to campus, moving in first semester here, I lost my voice and I got sick. So the second week of school, I had to make a doctor's appointment by myself without my mom because I've never done that before. So that was pretty interesting to navigate. But. 
It's, it's interesting because we think it's a simple thing, but it's more involved for the first time, right? Yeah, it was very intimidating at first, but now that I've done it, I can make my own doctor's appointments and all that other stuff, so. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Brilly, what about you? What was your big adulting moment? Um, not coming home to home-cooked meals. It's, uh, it's something about grandma's cooking or, you know, mom's cooking, but, you know, Wait, was your adulting moment, you're saying, coming to accept that you weren't having home-cooked meals? No, it was mainly having to accept that I had to go and get my own meals instead of having the meals prepared for me. Do you cook your own meals now? Uh, now I do, yeah. yeah. Yeah? It's hard. It's not as good, but it it's, passes. Isn't it weird how, like, when you actually create it, it's that much more important and involved, where it's, like, so much easier when someone else just yeah. does it for you? It's ready. But when I create it, I have to spend, like, 30 minutes, like, putting together, like, bread and, like, butter <laughs> and you're having that life is hard kind of moment right um, oh I have a correction from Courtney our social media coordinator uh, sorry it wasn't Brenda it was Brenda we just had a little typo so Brenda thank you for watching um, and so uh, folks I want to remind everyone out there that week of welcome is wow. almost here and we call it Wow so make sure you're here Wow is more than mom spelled upside down it's 10 days of free food folks and it's all gonna start with kickoff in the Marshall Student Center at 6.30 p.m. on grand opening day, Thursday, August 16th. Be there or be somewhere else having less fun. There is so much to do. There are so many fellow bulls to meet and mountains of food to ingest. Learn about everything that's going to be happening during WOW by visiting usf.edu slash new student and select the banner to view the brochure. It just came out. There's so much happening. Now, are you interested in being a culture creator at USF? Then you should consider applying to become a 2019 orientation leader. Orientation leaders work with incoming first year students, transfer students, and their families and guests to help all experience a seamless transition to becoming a bull and becoming a part of the USF community. Applications are gonna be opening on August 20th and they are due the end of September, so make sure to check that out. Well, Bulls, that is just about all the time we have. But before we go, I wanna remind you that every episode of USF Housing Live is available at facebook.com slash usfhousing, the USF Class of 2022 Facebook group, and in full 1080p high definition at youtube.com slash usfhousing. We've produced 24 episodes for you, so check them out. USF Housing Live is produced by Housing Residential Education right here at the University of South Florida in beautiful Tampa. Our motto is best place to live, best place to work, best place to learn. I wanna say thank you to tonight's guests, Brilli Gomez and Serena Brown for joining me this evening. Thank you to our production crew, and it's a big one. I got Kayla Williams, Courtney Cadogan, Brilli Gomez, Max Morinelli, Elisa Goldberg, Jeremy Lamberti, Chris Herrera, Taylor Finke, Sierra Glasscock, and Stephanie Jockman. Thank you all for what you've done. We have done 24 episodes, but guess what, Bulls? There is just one last thing. Go Bulls! Good night, everyone. <laughs>